What's up everybody, TZ? And if you're wondering why I'm whispering, it is like 5 a.m. in my household. Everyone is asleep, and I'm gonna keep it that way. Because these, they're driving me crazy today. <clears throat> okay, what we're gonna do in this video is, this is all Builder Hall 5. And if you can see what I'm scrolling through right here, as soon as you get max baby dragons in Builder Hall 5, they're, they're unstoppable. They're basically unstoppable. And it's a bunch of the same base designs. I'm running into the same base over and over and over again. So there's a few things you're gonna have to watch out for. And really what I'm doing is I'm using all baby dragons. And once you get them up to max, which is the level 10, you get three baby dragons. And it gives you a huge advantage. Not only do they, uh, you know, they're maxed out, so you have the most damage, you have the most hit points uh, for Builder Hall 5, but they don't, you also get that third baby dragon, and that is a huge, huge advantage. So, a few things you have to watch out for. One is the air bombs. Those things will wreck the baby dragons. So, you really want to try to use your hero, and now my hero's level 1. I still haven't got it up past level 1. Still working on all the troops. I'm gonna get all the troops up before I before I start um, increasing the the heroes level. Not really sure how the base weight works because you know I have a couple of accounts and I'm running across the same bases with one of my mini sable that I do with easy and she has uh, you know level she she's a builder she's a max builder hall four but yet I'm still running into builder hall five so I'm not really sure how the base weight works. I still don't have the multi mortar, and I'll tell you this: get into base weight for a little bit. You know, um, I know base weight is to match you up in war. I don't know how much it goes into the matchups uh, for the builder base, but I know it has something to do with it. And your multi mortar has as much base weight as the eagle artillery. It's amazing how how heavy it is. So it's something to keep in mind while you're while you're putting out your defenses. Now, this particular this particular base design is everywhere. I have seen this base design so many different times, and it's actually pretty effective. Uh, now, we, I was able to three star fairly regularly if they weren't highly upgraded. Um, I went on a 30, 30 attack streak. I didn't keep track, I didn't mark it down or anything. But I know it was right around 30, give or take maybe 5. <laughs> it's just unbelievable. I've never gone on a streak that big. What's sad is I still never broke 2,500 trophies. I, I I got sucked down. To, uh, I was stuck on these baby dragons. I was gonna I was gonna win with them no matter what. I've I, I've said in previous videos, don't get stuck on one troop. I didn't follow my own advice and ended up go, getting down to like 1,600 trophies. So. Had to work my way up from there. Got up to about 24, 23 or 2400 on that 30 streak, on that 30 win streak, which is pretty much where I'm sitting now. So, going back into the actual attack, the design for these attacks are pretty simple. You want to keep them, the baby dragons, as separated because they become enraged. They get, they start doing double damage once you're at builder hall. I mean, uh, level five and and you know level ten. Uh, baby dragons these these things are pretty stout but if you group them up then you can start running into trouble especially when you run the air bomb the air bomb will, it, it does splash damage so if you get you know four or five baby dragons on that air bomb they're they're not enraged and they're all getting damaged and I've actually got you know I've, I've got beat up that way and so I'm gonna start off most of these attacks with the hero and uh if they have the multi mortar, the second you put the the hero down, the multi mortar is gonna lock onto it and start firing at it. And, and he, a level one hero does not last long against that multi mortar. It is tough. But at the same time, my goal is is I want to try to get the hero on that air bomb as quickly as possible. And at the same time, I'm also attracting the the aggro from the archer towers so I'm keeping some of that aggro off of the off the baby dragons even though the the hero didn't really take out the the air bomb very often he usually died before he got to it he still kept most of the most of the archer tower aggro off the, off the brags so that was a good thing now 
as you're watching some of these attacks, you'll notice that a successful attacks, I had five, six, sometimes seven baby dragons left over. It was just amazing. I was amazed. You know, this was, these, these were the first attacks I did once I got to level 10. I was amazed. I, I couldn't believe how much simpler it was. I, I know it's, a, it's just a matter of, you know, you get four extra baby dragons for the four camps. And the level 10. But just the, the potency of them from level 9 to level 10 was unbelievable for me. So this is now if you've noticed this design right here, it's this is I've basically attacked this same design over and over in different ways. So people have found that this is the hardest base to attack. They are all building it. You're gonna have to learn how to three star this particular base. And really the best way to do it is to come in from all angles at, at one time. Um, once the brags get to the core, you know, some of them aren't enraged anymore, but at this point, there's just so many of them, it's overpowering to the defenses. But I have also failed on this base because they had max defenses. And so if they have the max firecracker and the max air bomb and they have them all centered, um, it's, they, they can really put a hurting on you. Now we're going to do a couple live attacks in this video as well. So we're going to do one right now. So let's see if we can't find a good base. Okay, so as we're attacking these bases, as I'm scouting right here, right away I, I see a, a flaw in the design. They have one of uh, they have one of the firecrackers right on the edge, so that you don't you, you want to avoid putting any of your defenses on the edge. You want to have a layer of buildings. On, on the outside of all of your defenses you want to make the make the troops go through at least one layer of the trash buildings before they get to your defenses having that um, having the firecracker right there on the side all that I had to do is put the hero on that side now the hero didn't even last make it through the wall so but I put the baby dragon on that uh, firecracker and three or four shots later it's down uh, and now, if you've noticed too, I'm not putting all the troops in at one time. Uh, I'm kind of staggering the troop deployment, and by doing this, I have fresh troops constantly coming into the into the attack. And um, one of the things that I've I've tried to maintain is that when a troop goes down in a certain area, I try to replace it with a fresh troop, and that seems like that's one of the best tactics that I've that I've done. This is actually a really close attack. A lot of these attacks were close. The, the yes, they're all three stars, but a lot of them were pretty close. And um, as far as the pathing goes, it's kind of unpredictable. It's not nearly as predictable as it is on your on your home village. I've seen these baby dragons bypass what you would think the logical next defense or next uh, building would be, and go halfway across the board to attack something just odd. I, I don't know why. Um, I don't know if it's actually a problem with the programming. I think it's just something that we're overlooking as far as uh, the pathing goes. I, and, you know, it's something that I'll figure out as time goes by. So this, now this base design I've seen several times. And it's actually, it's actually fairly difficult. They have a giant cluster of defenses all around the town hall. That's, that's normal. And uh, the hero doesn't do much when, when this happens because... If the defenses aren't shooting at the baby dragon and they all target the hero, it only takes about two seconds for it to go down. Now that might change, but you know, every time I upgrade this uh, this hero, he's going up a sliver with his life. Now I'm sure once I have the hero's ability, that would help a lot, and that's probably still a week or two away. Uh, it's the, these are expensive upgrades. I think the first one, first upgrade is like a million. The next one's going to be 1.2 or 1.4. So these are all. These all take time. We, we can't just farm unlimitedly. Um, we only we have a limitation to the farming. And check out this attack. I think I was one half of a hit away from that from that brag going down. But this is the advantage for having uh, the air troops. You, you only have so many air defenses, and people are getting attacked by ground troops. I very rarely get attacked by baby dragons. I, I I can't remember one, not one of these attacks. I got attacked by giants and archers and barbarians every single time. Matter of fact, I haven't even got the the giant and cannon cart, which I know that's coming too once I get up a little higher in uh, trophy count. So here's the same uh, design again. This is a very popular design in Builder Hall Five. 
these next couple of attacks too now I, these are pre-recorded but they, they were actually recorded live and I don't if, if any of you out there have ever recorded uh, any of your gameplay it changes the way you play I don't know why but it just does <laughs> and there was there seems like there's a little more pressure on you I want I really wanted a three star and uh, it just changes the, the pressure that you have on you but I try to attack these bases the same way and one of the things that you'll notice is that if you do things the same way you're gonna get the same results I know that sounds stupid or, or you know of course you will but um, it, you try to try to keep some consistency in the in the way you attack because that way you can really find out what works and what doesn't if you attack every base from a different angle or, or differently then you're, you're not gonna really get a good feel for it so I try to attack these bases the same way and I w I'll, maybe I was lucky to get uh, be successful at first and then I could build on that by attacking the same way over and over and just kind of reinforce in my brain that, you know this is the right, right way to do it here again six six baby dragons left over so these are pretty potent attacks and I, I can't remember you know when you have three baby dragons to start off with so you know you're only getting 12 and then you have six left over that's half of your army is left over at the end of the attack I mean that's that's strong I think and now again notice I started the same way these are not the same bases these are all different bases these are not these are not the same ones over and over these are different people building the same base and this is one of the things that I've warned people about you may find some really good bases when you watch uh, I know a lot of people watch the tournaments they watch some of the top players they see these awesome bases that they have they see the, these mega fails um, in the tournaments on YouTube so they think that that base is gonna work for them and it does for a little while but people learn how to beat them and then next thing you know everyone can beat the base so this base right here I'm sure that they'll get plenty of wins with it but there's gonna be a lot of people that know how to beat it and when it comes to baby dragons you surround you surround these bases with baby dragons keep them enraged now this right here this is one of those attacks where it was a it was close it was as close as could be this baby dragon the last shot that he gets off takes out the air bomb and maybe one shot left on uh, damn is my alarm Don't worry, I'm not going to work. I know everyone worries about easy having to go to work and staying up all night doing videos, but get today off. It's actually a holiday. Okay, so this next base design, this was an important base to show with it because this is one of those long, thin bases, and if you try to attack this base from bottom left to top right, you kind of attack them right into their right into their strength so using baby dragons you want to surround the base anyway and with that tactic these bases are even easier because there's only really there's only one defense they have to go to before they kind of meet each other in the middle so this this particular design might work with certain troops but when it comes to the baby dragons and how you're trying to keep them separated to keep them enraged this design actually plays right into the attackers hands so be be careful if you have one of these long bases you're gonna you're not gonna like people attacking you with baby dragons because i think i have to restart every single base that was like this and really all we're gonna have to do is surround this thing keep the baby dragons separated and watch how fast uh, um i think this is about a 40 second attack and again we start off with the hero the hero's gonna attract all kinds of the aggro it's got the archer tower on it it's got a couple of the ground defenses on it too that's not going to bother the, 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 the brags at all anyway. Um, I started bringing the baby dragons in and again trying to keep them as separate as possible. Uh, as long as they're enraged uh, they're just doing tons of damage. And I think I could probably get through this attack without using the last three baby dragons at all. But uh, you know there's no cost incurred for using all the troops so uh, I've been, I use all the troops on every attack no matter what. So just put the last two in and now there's one, two, three, four, five, six baby dragons at the end of the attack and it's just crushed. So 
so build a hall five level 10 baby dragons definitely the troop to go with uh, almost got the guide done been working on this for a month a month straight and we've almost got it done it's gonna be awesome you're gonna really enjoy it I, I really think everyone should this should be one of the resources that everyone uses when they want to know information on, on troops defenses whatever so appreciate everyone for watching sub to the channel if you haven't subbed yet uh, like the video gonna have some more build a hall 5 stuff I can just record all day <laughs> it's as fun to record as it is to attack I don't know why it's so fun to three star and it really sucks not to <laughs> so appreciate everyone for watching until next time it's been easy take care everybody